Hi, my name is Penny Aubrey from Aubrey Shangri-La or My Shangri-La. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a level one Reiki certification or the Shodan level or the first degree. Um, I, am, I myself am a Reiki master teacher from the Yusui Reiki Ryoho lineage. And my teacher actually trained in Japan and India. She is a beautiful Reiki grandmaster. So I was very honored to be able to learn from her. Um, I was actually also, my initial certification also came from the uh, Karuna Holy Fire Reiki from a wonderful teacher as well. I just decided to go with a different, a little bit different lineage and I received a one, two and three from the current lineage that I practice and teach. Um, there is slight differences between them. You, That's a whole other video, so we're not gonna get into that right now. But uh, my first experience was over 20 years ago with Reiki, and it was a beautiful experience and really caught my attention. And now in more recent years is when I really wanted to become a practitioner where I can share that beautiful Reiki energy and then go all the way to a teacher where I can actually teach others to be able to help themselves and, and other people. So that brings me to my level one class. Um, I offer a level one several times throughout the year. It is your basic first degree level where you're learning to work with the Reiki energy. You're learning to work with yourself, possibly with others, family members, pets, plants, just learning and practicing that Reiki energy. But it's really, really all about the self. The first degree, that that's your main focus is going to be yourself and just healing yourself, learning to work with the energy, um, just getting into that right frame of spirit and mind and body to be able to assist others. And normally my class will be a five hour class. It's, it varies between practitioners, uh, between teachers, so it really depends on the teacher. My class is a five-hour class generally. It is limited. I only allow six to eight, well, six recently due to the COVID, but um, eight is the max either way. So I do limit the amount of people. I prefer smaller three or four group um to a large class just because I like to be able to work with them one-on-one. -on -one. I want them to be able to do hands-on practice. And then doing the uh, the reju or the, att the attunement or the empowerment as it's called um, also takes time and I really put my heart and spirit into it. So uh, definitely I want to be able to have them walk away with a wonderful experience. So I do limit my classes. I also include this beautiful professional training manual for the Shodan or first degree level. And as you can see, there is illustrations. Um, so it's something that is included that you get to keep and take home with you and just really further your journey with the Reiki energy and learning about Reiki. Um, we will use this in class as a little bit of a guideline, but this will be for you to take home and keep. Um, I do the attunements with the symbols as most Reiki teachers are going to do, but you will not learn the actual symbols in a level one. So it's really just the basics of Reiki and learning the energy. You will not have to learn symbols. Once you complete your level one training or certification, you will get a certificate saying you are level one practitioner. And from there, I ask that you wait a minimum of 21 days to three months before going on to a level two certification, just so you can learn the energy, learn to work with the Reiki and really, really work on yourself and bring yourself to that right place within you to where you can start passing on that unconditional Reiki love to others and helping them. 
So we really have to help ourselves. We have to put ourselves in that um, right frame of mind, heal maybe issues or old um, wounds or oh, anything that we're holding on to energetically or emotionally that we may not even realize. So that period is to allow yourself to just clean yourself out, get a fresh start, and then go from there. Um, most Reiki practitioners um, can go on to a level two regardless of the level one certification. You can even go on to another teacher. Occasionally you may find a teacher that wants you to only do their lineage or their way of um, practicing for all three levels, but as I said, it's usually pretty open if you get a level one certification with one teacher, you can go on to another teacher or continue with that same teacher based on, and you can also learn different forms. So there is the Karuna Reiki, there is the Tibetan Reiki, um, there's Western, Eastern, There, that's a whole other video. <laughs> Mine is based on more Eastern tradition. My teacher actually, she is a grandmaster and she has been teaching Reiki and practicing Reiki for well over 20 or 30 years. Um, she learned in Japan and India. She studied in Japan and India. She actually works in the area at hospitals and she is well known. I also trained under the, my first level was under the Karuna Holy Fire Reiki. Uh, after I did the first level, I decided to research a little more and I found my current teacher and I went on to actually take a level one two and three from her again. So I had two level ones. So just a little bit of a different way of working with the energy between them um, and just the way they may deliver the practice or the attunement or, um, but it's still Reiki energy and it's a beautiful healing energy. So with that being said, I will post my information in the links below in the comments um, for you to check out when my next class is. I, I do have one coming up in July. As of now, I'm hoping it's going to be in person. Um, I have tossed around the idea of doing attunements online. If you'd like to learn more about that, uh, let me know if that's something that you would be interested in. My personal opinion is that a level one might be okay online, but really a level two and a level three is more intensive and really needs to be in person. And I actually prefer the level one in person. I also do private um, classes if you prefer that, if you prefer not being in a group. It will be a small group either way regardless if it is in a group because as I said, I limit the amount of people that I have in my class just to get that hands-on, one-on-one, really good experience of working with Reiki. And uh, oftentimes you walk away with a, a little bit of a bond with after that class. So, uh, But yes, I do a one-on-one -on -one as well, and there is no extra charge, um, but you won't have the experience of working with others in the Reiki. It'll just be you and I, or if I bring in... Um, another person for you to experience and work with as a guest. Um, so definitely like and share this video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any updates or any new things I put out. And like I said, we are all about the balance of mind, body, and spirit. So I hope you join us and have a wonderful day.